So you didn't give maybe a strong 26-man squad to prepare for Latvia and then the Euro qualifier against France. It's an important thing to head. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, it's um, it's quite exciting though as well at the same time. You know, we're looking forward. Obviously, we've known about, you know, when we got to draw initially, we understood the magnitude of it. France, uh, France, Holland and, and Greece and Gibraltar in the group. And uh, we knew, we understand the difficulty with that, but it also provides an opportunity and it's quite exciting, you know, to have France come in here to... France have been the best team in the world over a period now because they won the World Cup 2018 and obviously lost recently on penalties to win a, a consecutive World Cups and they've been a phenomenal team and uh, so for, for them here coming to Dublin it, it, we, we view it as an opportunity also you know it's it's uh, we've been building our own team um, for the last two years and I think last couple of years and I think uh, you know, for this campaign, and we're excited by that, and we understand that not many people, not many neutrals, would give us not a chance really against France because they, because their pedigree and their, because of what they've achieved, and you know we're we're fine with that, and um, but we're we're, ca we're we are capable of putting in strong performance against against anyone really. We've shown that as well. A player included is Mikey Johnson. From South Victoria, he got his international appearance last month. What is it about Mikey that excites you, and what do you think he can bring to this Ireland team? Yeah, I think Mikey is someone I've obviously been aware of for a long time, and um, he broke on the scene very quickly at Celtic, and obviously played in four cup finals before he was 22 and, and so forth. But he had been out injured for a year, and it was a tough one for him. And, you know, when a young player is like that to, to lose your rhythm like that and to affect your career and he obviously seen a lot of players come in and bypass him at Celtic then because they, they signed so many players and while well, he was injured and yeah, so for him to go to Portugal was a brave step in a way. It's a tough league, a lot of good teams in it and they're challenging for a European place and it's not it's not all upward curve for Mike. He has you know it's a different culture and he's played twenty one games this season between starts and, and off the bench. So he uh, he has different characteristics that will that will add to the squad, I feel. But we mustn't expect a major impact in this camp, but it's a good introduction for him. And Brian Manning is a player that hasn't been included. Was he in the conversation for a selection? Oh, of course, yeah. We've several players in, in that position there. It's very tight, Not you know, a lot, a lot of players of playing the championship and, and uh, but I think just Callum O'Dowd is form Callum has been in in my opinion probably has been Cardiff's player of the year this year and I think he, he's uh, um, he's been offers us something different as well Callum he's quick and dribbles dribbles at pace and he's very direct and a uh, different type of player but Ryan is an excellent player there's no doubt and has offers different qualities coming on the inside and playing and a really good footballer no, no, it, it's too early to say really. But he, um, he obviously got a foot, a foot injury, and he had to he had to leave in the first half last night in the game. Um, so he left the ground on crutches, and we'll have a scan tomorrow. Obviously, he had to travel back to Norwich and uh, have a scan tomorrow. So, so we're not really sure. Um, he asked not to be ruled out and might wait and see. So um, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see how he is. Mm. Uh, Robbie Brady asked him to cut. Is that an injury? Is that just your selection decision? No, no. Again, a similar situation with just the form of Callum O'Dowd and that left wing back position. Robbie had a really good spell early in the season, and I was I thought he was absolutely excellent for Preston early in the season. To be honest with you, um, full of admiration for how how well he was playing. Um, in recent weeks, he's not been in the team, although we did play midweek. Um, and we've been at a lot of Preston's games, we've got a lot of players, so that was just these the defined fine margins, you know. Mm. And it's lastly for me, as you mentioned, Ardy is most of sitting on the bench at Athletic Club, unfortunately. How much of a concern for you is his lack of minutes, or can that be addressed before the France game? Or the game it's not ideal. Uh, you know, it'll probably be between his last game at Tottenham and 
and the French game, for example, it'll be nearly eight weeks, possibly. So uh, it's not ideal. Um, he's shown his capacity to be out of the team for periods and still maintain a high level of fitness, but it is far from ideal, and he, he knows that, we know that, but um, these are just some of the challenges that uh, that international football brings, and that, that's just one such challenge. Um, yeah, he, he, you know, I think he's had a, a rapid rise, really. He, you know, obviously from from briefly playing with Bohemians as a 14-year-old um, to to <coughs> playing regularly now in the Premier League. So even from our last window, he's made a rapid rise, and he's he's. So we, I think the characteristics of of our forward players are completely different to what they were two years ago. You know, all of a sudden we've got players like Chidozi Ogbenya, Michael Obafemi, Adam Ida, um, Evan Ferguson, Troy Parrott. You know, players with, um, who are direct, quick, and offers can play different ways. And obviously, Will Kane and Mikey, Mikey Johnson, who's a dribbler, so they supplement. So now we've got different qualities in our attack. We've got quite potent attacking players now, I feel, and uh, a lot of potential there. But some of them are obviously had injuries, and that's been an, an issue as well. You know, some of them coming back from injury, Michael and Troy, for example, uh, So and now Adam. So th th those are the challenges as well. Um, they, they have, they've not all had, you know, straightforward. Uh, you know situations, but Evan, Evan, to answer your original question, Evan has been very, very good, and uh, you know he's he's made it, <laughs> he's made it look easy at times. You know he's come in and and, and um, he, he makes good decisions. He always seems to make good decisions, and he's a, he has a variety of uh, attributes. And, you know he leads the line well, and he links to play well, and he. He has the capacity to score goals, so those are good attributes. One more question, could I, Steve, could, could I ask, is there, how real is the temptation to start him now? Well, we'll have to see, obviously, that it's, you know, you can't pick your team too early in these circumstances, because obviously they have the games the weekend, as we've seen with Adam Eda last night, so the games the weekend, um, and if you're going to come through them okay, and He's got another game on Sunday, of course, and then, um, <coughs> and then it's a quick turnaround to to Wednesday, uh, to the Latvia game. But you know, we're hoping that he comes through that on Sunday, and that he, you know that he can play play a significant part in the window. And we need starters and players to come on as well, particularly in the in the game with the level of intensity of the French game. That for sure, we will need that, and that's that's something that we have to. Uh, Okay. Just with, I think, five days between the two games. So, in terms of of your selection, have you have you kind of set in your mind now, injuries dependent, how you would go from one game to the other? Yeah, I have a, a con you know broad concept of what you know what the team would be like, but that can that can change quickly. And I think uh, um, we've also got to be cognizant of the players, the championship schedule, which has been. Absolutely relentless because we've got to get, we've got a peak against France on the championship schedule, which has been relentless. The World Cup has sort of loaded some fixtures, and you know they've had weeks and weeks of midweek games, and also some of them teams have been in the FA Cup as well. Burnley and Sheffield United, who've been sort of managing championship uh, runs with with the latter stages of the FA Cup, so that's been very challenging for those players. So I have to consider that in with a view to the selection on Wednesday, also against Latvia. But we want to be strong against Latvia and we want to put in a strong performance and bring the confidence from that ideally into the French game. That's what you'd want.